everybody, welcome to the Milk to Meals talk. My name's Val and Rose, my colleague, and I have prepared a short presentation to guide you through some of the information that you might need when you're starting your baby on solids. The information that I'm going to share with you today is taken from the Australian feeding guidelines. The guidelines suggest that around about six months, that's the ideal time that you should be thinking about introducing food to your baby other than milk. And the reason for this is that by the time your babies have reached six months, they've used up a lot of the iron that you gave to them when they were in utero. So it's important that they have new sources of iron in food. The reason that iron is so important is that it helps their brain development. So, when do I know that my baby's ready? How do I know? Well, they'll tell you. They'll give you a very strong clue that they are getting ready for something different. And to begin with, they might be watching you and tracking the food as it's leaving your plate to your mouth. They might be making tongue movements. They might be opening their mouth and closing their mouth as if they were eating. They might be leaning into your food and grabbing food from your plate. As you can imagine, that's a very strong signal that they're ready for something different. So your next question might be, well, what do I give and how do I give it? Well, to begin with, some babies start earlier than six months, and if they do, I would suggest that you just start with purees, very simple things, fruit and vegetables, baby cereal. And then over time, gradually give them different textures. So we'll start with purees and then gradually move up to mashed foods and then minced foods. And then between six and eight months, most babies will be having mashed food group foods from all of the major food groups, including milk and yogurt. And then by eight months, your babies might be having um, squishy finger foods, and that's a lot of fun. And then by 12 months, if it all goes to plan, your babies will be eating family meals from all of the major food groups. Hi, I'm Rose, and I'm the other part of the uh, Brighton Maternal and Child Health team. Now, following on from Val, uh, just remember that you provide the food and the baby is the one who chooses how much they wish to eat. It's not on your um, thoughts on, you know, you should be eating this amount and that amount. It's on what your baby feels like. So just remember too, um, there's opportunistic times where the child can, you might be eating an apple and the child's looking at you. You can always give them the lick of the apple, a suck on the toast, a mouthful of your oats. Don't sort of think it has to be a timed opportunity like we often do have breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, you'll certainly get into the timing of meals because babies like us are growing and eating. Um, so often girls will start with a breastfeed around the four months, or eight months, six months, whatever you're doing. And uh, they will often then leave maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes after the breastfeed and then start to introduce food. So with that, um, you often get up to about three tablespoons before you often introduce another sort of set meal. The main high allergy foods, of course, are egg, um, uh, peanut butter, shellfish, wheat, and dairy. Uh, with egg, you want a well-cooked egg, just a tiny bit added to mixed veggies as you go along in the beginning. Often it's great to introduce it around the six months. If, if you've started earlier, you can introduce it a little bit earlier as well. But again, small amounts incrementing going up in levels uh, over the days. With iron, um, we know Val focused on the iron rich diet. They need three servings a week. A serving is the size of the palm of their hand. So we're not asking for a T-bone steak in one setting. It's a very small amount, minimum three times a week. So a good amount of mince, um, roast chicken that you could puree up or mix it up, let the baby suck on it and get the iron out of it. The babies don't need teeth to chew their food. Remember in those early days of breastfeeding where your nipples could be damaged if the baby wasn't attached well enough, they could do a lot of damage with those very tough gums. So they don't need teeth to chew meat. With water, it's great to introduce it when you're eating. Uh, again, the guidelines will recommend boiled water up to 12 months. You can definitely use cow's milk in your cooking. Again, when you're making your mashed potato or you're mixing things, you're making a bechamel sauce with your pastas or whatever, they can certainly use cow's milk in your cooking. You just cannot have cow's milk as a drink in their bottle or in their um, sippy cup till after 12 months. And that has to be full cream milk up to the age of two years of age. Again, certainly by eight months, they're definitely on three meals a day. And around eight, nine months, when you come in for your check, your nurse will now start describing to maybe make food the more dominant party more than the milk.
meaning that you offer the food first and then the milk. This is called self-weaning phase, where the child will eat the food first and then you offer milk in the second time, second, second part. So the child mightn't take as much milk because really by 12 months of age, if you're formula feeding, we want the milk to be no more than six, uh, 500 mils in 24 hours. With breastfeeding, it's a bit different. We, we're very unsure how much they're getting, but definitely you're possibly down to two to three feeds in the 24 hours. But what the Royal Children's are looking at is that the children have family meals by 12 months, that whatever you're dishing up, your baby is having it in the same way. And just a point, gagging is not choking. Gagging, you hear a baby gag, choking, you won't hear a baby choke. So you'll see them, it's, they're recorrecting the food in their mouth. Their eyes will often become a bit watery, a bit gaga, a little bit taken back, a bit of a breath, but they're actually just resorting the food through your mouth, through their mouth. Uh, again, no honey till 12 months, just because of botulism and just enjoy it. Follow your child's lead. They will tell you what they want. Thanks. I hope you enjoy it.